Dad Raps comes up today. It's gonna, man, it's gonna sound like a machine gun. Mm, mm, dad Raps. Mm, mm. <laughs> Alright guys, Ripsticks Podcast. Hold on one second. April 19th, 2024. I think I'm losing my voice. Mm. I do. I actually think I'm losing my voice. I could barely talk today at work. I don't know what's going on. I think it's a combination of allergies, stress, allergies, Mm -hmm. stress. Mm -hmm. So it's a Friday. It's the end of the week, end of the work day, end of the school day. Bus was late. And one of my co-hosts, Franklin, Franklin Wyckoff, one of the ripsticks, had a field trip today. Where'd you go, dude? Philadelphia Zoo. Ooh, you know that place really well. You probably That's went why there. It's, it's like nothing new to me. Yeah, but you probably went there more than anybody else. Probably been class. there like 15 times already this year. Well, maybe not this year, but I mean, you've been there a lot. Like, since I was one. What'd you think? It was okay. Anything? I haven't been there in a while. I don't even remember the last time I went. Was there Um, anything different since the last time I've been there? Oh, yeah. There's more statues. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, like Like, the ones they make out of trash? mm -hmm. Oh, I like those. Yeah, I actually like really there's like, like there's blue gorillas made out of jeep things. Oh, wow, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty like cool. They bend and twist. It How many people were in your group? Three people. So four of you all together. Did you have like a, uh, a chaperone? Yeah. Yeah. Was it one of those people's mom or dad? Dad. Oh, that's pretty cool. Was he cool? Not like you, no. I'm like the coolest dad in the entire world. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to find too many. LeBron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. LeBron's a bum. Lincoln, you said it wrong. It's LeBron. There you go, buddy. Lincoln, what'd you do today? I got a new book book that I'm reading for like the 15th time this year. Well, why'd you get the same one? No, I mean, like, we're getting a book for the 15th time oh, this year. Oh, okay, okay. It's like the Narnia book, Chron- oh. Chronicles of Narnia. <clears throat> you know what's going to be pretty cool about that? I already watched the movie, so. Oh, see, I've never watched the movie. I was going to say, if you read the book, then we can watch the movie together. I'll, I'll watch it again, because the last time I watched it, I was like seven. But the, I thought the movie was really good, but. um. Wait, what movie was it called? <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, Chronicles of Narnia. Um, what? It's on Disney. What does it have to do? Like, what's It's the like about setting? this girl and like her, like this little stuff. It's like this girl and her brothers and the big sister go, they like, a war's happening, but then they're like, someone took them to like a house, like their uncle or something or whatever. And then the, the girl, the littlest one, went to the door. Then it was like the place, the Nar- Narnia. And yeah, just like a lot of stuff happens in there. That's pretty cool. There's animals and like stuff like that. Like it's, if you like Harry Potter, fantasy, and like animals and stuff like that, then I think you'd really like this. It's movie. almost like a combination of like Harry Potter and Alice in Wonderland. Almost. You know? I, I it just, sounds like it's almost like Harry Potter. For some reason. And Lord of the Rings. For some reason, I really feel really, I feel really comfortable watching and reading the book. Well, that's good. Yeah, we're, I, I think well, we're going to read Charlotte's Web and then watch the movie. 
Oh, sure. I love the I love the movie. Yeah, it's a good. Especially a good movie. like the one that's like animated, not the real one. Yeah. Well, you guys, you guys had a cooler day than me. Uh, we did have Phillies Day at work, so I got to dress. In like I was going to say, why are you wearing Zach Wheeler jersey? Uh, because it was a Phillies day, and they yeah. had a drawing for tickets to the Phillies games, and I didn't win any of them. Who won? Um, a nice lady in our office and a nice guy, I so think. There were, actually, there were three groups of tickets. I don't Did remember I, who won. Who, which game? Um, That's a good question. I don't even remember. So, don't so, even remember. But um, hey, what are we doing tomorrow? Going to Florida, and we're waking up at twelve thirty. No, yet. listen. If we had to wake up at twelve thirty, you would be an absolute terror. But also, we're going to Florida, Anna Marie Island, Anna Marie Islands. The beach and sand is so clear, and there's manatees just in the water, like some they like swim. So I've been told by two people, one. The guy that cuts our hair. And two, yesterday when I was in my Vistage group, there was a woman in my Vistage group who apparently is like a world traveler. And she told me, she's like, it's as clear as any water you're, you'll ever go into. That's clear as fresh glass. Don't you kind of wish, like I like the water so much. I would, if you didn't have to worry about getting eaten by something like if you go far out i would just swim out forever like i would just swim out as far as i could go and like if you would swim and swim and swim you'll see more and more animals like there's these little fish that pup your dad said that they like nip on your feet yeah so i've i do it on my paddleboard on my stand-up surfboard oh. And I've seen octopus. I've seen giant squid. Do you know what we should do? If you're just sitting on the paddleboard, bring the GoPro and put it under there. Well, yeah, I, I, I do want to do that. The only problem is, Frank, I have to like mount that to the board, and I really don't want to do that. And Frank, um, I mean, not Frank, but God. Um, Isn't it shallow there? Shallow where? Where we're going? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just like any other beach the water's shallow until you get out river real far and then, oh okay but i think there'll be some like little tiny fishes in there that you can see and pop up yeah. said that there's fish there because you had to like stop there yeah. that you can like count your toes and there's fish like oh. swimming around Sorry. that's what i said to dad i also think there's pretty good shells there they are I, my sm- goal if we do a gold this week or on the weekend, uh, our goal, like all four of us, is to try to get at least over f- four or over more conch shells. How are we going to get them home? Put them in the suitcase. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, if we did that, you'd have to absolutely make sure there was nothing inside of it. How many of those like medium sized conch kind of shells have we got to where we bring them home and then we go, whoa? About 20. There's a little dude in there. And then he always dies. He always dies. <laughs> you know what he looks like? He looks like the, uh, you know, on. Finding Nemo. No, Little Mermaid. You know the little weasel things that like dot, like yeah. die? Yeah. Um, that's what they look like when they die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we get on a plane, we fly straight through Sarasota, get a rental car. It's just a little tiny drive south. And we How got a far house. Is it? Not very far. And then we got a house on the beach. And well, it's literally like physically on the beach. You know how close mm-hmm. the Fenwick house is to the beach? This is even closer. It's way closer than that. It's and on, that's it's it's on the beach. Like, it's yeah, not it's even like on I the don't beach. like those houses. What He's houses? like on the beach because Are you like crazy. What if like a tsunami happens or a big storm and and here you, all your stuff will go into the ocean? Maybe even you. Well, there can't there can't be a tsunami here, dweeb. but there can be there can't be a tsunami here, but there can be first ever dweeb hit for Franklin. 
Yo, th there can be. Um, means the radius. There, there, yeah, can, there I, could be waves if there's a storm. Here's the thing, man. I guess well, there's no waves. I guess you can. Like, there could be a hurricane. It, right. And if you got in your car and drove to the store, you could have get hit by a truck. And like if and if like you were like if there was a hurricane and knocked all your house down, maybe you all your house stuff would go in the ocean. Yeah, it's not fun. Um, but uh, one place I'm really looking forward to, and you guys, there's a million things on this menu for you to eat. Is there is a place down there? That they is said like, there's a bar on the. On the, like, physically on the beach. Um, well, there is. Yeah. So, there's a bar down there. I'm just looking it up right now. Um, well, while Dad's looking that up, I'm I'm just excited because, like, Dad and Mom said, like, this is not going to be a trip where it's going to be, like, all jam-packed, like the Las Vegas one that we took, like, last year. That one was big. Yeah, but I want but you to remember that because... I don't. What I don't want is I don't want you getting down there and going, oh, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Like, what do you mean? You can go out in the ocean, like. So listen, at this place. I just, I just found it. This place. It's called Slim. Slim's place. All it's, right. It's. It's like, fifty feet from our place, mm -hmm. maybe maybe fifty yards, and it's a uh, it's a Philadelphia bar. Yeah, mom said we can might we might wear like Phillies gear. Yeah, you can watch all. I don't want to bring jerseys. I, oh. I was gonna bring Harper and Beach, something like that. Nah, bring like a shirt, a t-shirt. Yep. We don't have that much room. But, I, I'm, and, and I'm like, like carry on. They play. Apparently, they play every Sixers game, every Phillies game, every Eagles game, and every Flyers game. So every there is a game? there is a Phillies game every day. No, but Dad, the Sixers play tomorrow at six before the Phillies, and that that's more exciting because it's playoff time. I thought the Sixers play tonight. They play tomorrow, six o'clock, Knicks. Oh. And and um, even if they play every game, I'm gonna watch the Sixers. Most. Well, maybe we'll have to go look. There are only two chances to watch. Well, no. What, what's it on? Is it on TNT? It's on um ESPN. The ESPN? Sixers. And because it's owned by um a. He, the uh, person was, I think, raised in Philadelphia. I think. Yeah, they're from they're from Philadelphia. Yeah. Um. But this will be in the locker room talk. If, but if we have it, but Zion and Bam at a bio, Jimmy Butler's out. The that's that's the Heat and the Bulls tonight at seven. Wait, and Bam is out too. No, Bam versus. No, wait, I messed this up. Yeah, All you right. did. So, you said Jimmy Butler and all right, so Bam out of bio. Jimmy though. Butler, Terry Rozier are out. It's Bam out of bio. Like, I'm just naming like the best. It's it's the Heaters Bulls. Why don't you name it per team? Heaters so, Bulls. So, without Butler. Butler's out. And Rozier. And Abayo's in. For the Bulls, Rozier is out. No, Rozier's on oh, the Heat. Oh, Rozier. I don't think anyone's out for the Bulls. Rozier's on the Heat. And v Levine. But, okay. And then also the Pelicans, Kings. Um, Zion's not playing because he fell and his knee was hurting him. Left, left knee. And so I, be, that, knee. Wait a minute. It was a knee soreness. The, the Sixers start their series though, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, But it's their it's the series with the Knicks. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. Yeah, because the Pelicans and whoever wins today I think is going to play on Sunday. All right, listen. Before we get into spinning the wheel – I want to give, um, we don't do this often. I want to do dad's lesson of the week. And I have one for each one of you as they're rolling their eyes at me. I'm not. So I'm, I'm going to start with you, Frank. We're doing baseball. And do Franklin. Do really need to say this on the podcast? What are you talking about? It's not, what do you think it's bad? Do you think it's bad? Mm, I don't want to say all right. Just say like. Mm. Well, Franklin is playing baseball and he's doing real good. And the only thing I'm going to say to you, Frank, and I've been yelling this from first base. When you're up to bat, I want you to choke up a little bit, which you've been doing. I, I want you to mean. keep your hands together. It's number two. Number three, I want you to stay set. I want you to stay ready and loose. I want your knees to be bent. I want your hands to be up. But what if you're about to get hit by a ball? But that, but listen to me. You do this before they're even pitching. You stand straight up. You get out of your stance. And then what happens is, is when you get a swing, 
the first thing you have to do is like get back in your stance. So you're wasting time. So that's why you're a little late on pitches. So what I want you to do is, oh, and another thing, Frank, guess what? If you get hit by a pitch, it doesn't hurt. But what if it's really fast and like no. I'm just standing there how many, like that how many kids, and how everyone's many, like, move. How many kids got hit by a pitch on your team last game? Zero. No, that's not true. We, you're not watching. Zero, one. Uh, no, at least two. I know of at least two. Well, we're, one, on, one on the back, one on the elbow. Who is the second? And one on the... Oh, there's th there was three. I forgot about him. There was three. Who? I'll, I'll tell you afterwards. But there were three huh? that got hit. And on the you other team... You can say the names. You can say the names. On the other team... I think we hit them like five times. The poor one poor kid got hit twice in the same part of his butt. <laughs> okay, so that's your lesson of the week. What the ball, the, hold on, the ball doesn't hurt. Stand in there, dude. Swing away. Keep your eye on the ball. All right. Remember when I got but, hit? Like you got hit more than any player well, I think that ever played minors. When I got hit, and then this kid got hit with like a. Two mile per hour pitch, you started crying. Then I got Why hit by like a no, fifty Lincoln, mile per hour pitch, so and negative. then I walked to base. Bro, I've told you this before. You're tough. Like you got to hit like almost every time you Lincoln, went up to bat. Megan's lesson should be not to be negative. Oh, that would actually be a good lesson, but because he's talking negatively about but, okay, not you were. Shut up. Here's what your lesson is. That's breaking the rule. Look at me, dude. You remember what I said to you last night when I was tucking you in bed? Hey, yo, Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah. What did I say? The <laughs> Cliff Notes version, like a short version. Don't be bit. That's not what I said. We <laughs> weren't even talking about believe being Believe in yourself or something. There you go. I said believe in yourself. Look at me. All you have to do is be yourself. That's, that's it? Think about this. We were watching that. Frank, can you sit up? Yeah. We were watching that Natural Geographic thing yesterday. Netflix. For, or Netflix, yeah. For, for five for, minutes. For like five minutes, right? Could you imagine if every day a zebra came to work trying to be a tiger? What? Just imagine him. Zebra's out there in the meadow. Just believe in yourself and do it. He's you going like, hey guys, I'm a tiger. Everyone's looking at him. Maybe there's some dumb, dumb animals that go, oh, look at this black and white tiger. Other people will go, what the heck's this idiot doing? He's a zebra. No, guys, I'm a tiger. Look at me. Rawr. Listen to my roar. Rawr. They're like donkeys. Rawr, rawr. Like that. Okay. When I say this, doesn't don't you go, oh, my God, he would be ridiculous. Yeah. People would think he'd say stupid. You know why? Because a zebra should act like a zebra. No, because you could be what you want. I, I'm getting and the maybe message. He, I'm and, getting and, the message. And listen, maybe he wakes up every morning and goes, you know what, man? God, I wish I was a lion today. All I want to do is eat um, some gazelle. What? But instead of thinking about what he doesn't have. You have to believe <sighs> in yourself. Exactly. You got to believe All in right, yourself. And you just got to accept what you are, dude. Okay. I mean, you, you were, you okay. have the horrible misfortune of being smart, funny, outgoing. You have a wonderful head of hair. There are I'm, forty. I hate and, that it's like this. There are forty and fifty year old men all over the world that wish they had a hairline like you. And well, that hair. He's younger, and that hairline. Nope. That hairline is not going anywhere, dude. You will have a full head of hair for the rest of your life. You have perfect straight white teeth. It's unbelievable. So, all right, that's my lesson for you. Be yourself. Um, now. So all you said was negative things for me and positive things for him. No, I didn't. Dude, I said you were doing awesome in baseball. No, you said I, I'm dude, playing I baseball. Listen, I love the way... Um, no, they I should love let the way me pitch. They should let me pitch. Um, because well, I was I, practicing with Joby and, well, Jay. Well, Frank. Jay someone. Um, When me and him, like, go outside and play, like, we practice, just, like, we pitch baseballs to each other, like, actually, like, he's the catcher. Are you going to say something negative? No. No. Like, 
not like negative, but like I think you need to like work a little oh, with that's dad negative. and work a little with dad. That's and not negative. Until you, you get you know what pitching because I'm like, the only he, one here who's played baseball a long time. So pipe down. Yeah, Lincoln. You know exactly. what I? You know what the best advice I could give you for baseball? Well, Look at me. Just stop! Play. Stop touching the wheel. Play like you play basketball. But it's a different sport. No, it's not. You know how hard it is to shoot a ball, a round ball through a round hoop that's like ten feet in the air. Not hard. You have to like kind of aim a little bit, <laughs> bro. Like eight feet. You know how? Listen. You know how when that ball is loose, you just run after it. You it, you do not care whether the guy's big, small, whatever. You just go after it. Do the same in baseball. When that I ball's, I can't grab the ball. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, is like if when that ball's being pitched to you, dude. Pretend like that's a loose ball in basketball. Just go after it. Put that bat on the ball. That makes no sense, but okay. <sighs> okay, well, moving All on. Right, moving on. So, yep, we got that out of the way. We have a vacation. Wheel. We are going to get to... The wheel. wheel. Hold on. We are going to get to... The wheel. The wheel. Going to get to the segment portion of the podcast where Franklin Wyckoff... Is going to be the first to spin the wheel. Spin. All right, spin that. Go ahead. Dad raps, dad raps, dad raps, dad raps. Oh. Why do we always get Q and A? An answer. We, right, we, we always go. get this day in history, trash or smash, question or, or answer. All right, here we go. Um, I hope we don't hear all those squeaks on the podcast. I don't think we normally do, but um, all right, I'm going to ask you some questions, guys. It doesn't look like it's picking up on the... All right, here we thing. go. Here's a good one, right? All right. Uh, oh, here we go. If you could... This is for each one of you. If you could trade places with your mom or your dad for 24 hours, who would you pick and what would you do? I would choose you. All right. And so no, you, no offense to mom. Though. That's all right. That's no offense. So you, for 24 hours, you're me. What would you do? You could do anything that I can do. All right. So what I do is I'd say, yo, guys, Um, I know <laughs> I got a big meeting today, but I'm I'm off work. Um, I don't care that I'm the business guy. You guys can do it yourselves. And then get out. Then go buy Sixers tickets to the playoffs for New York. Drive up. Get up there. But then Watch the game courtside with all your money. That you have, and then come back. Wait, I have, I Man, have a, that's a I, good 24 I have hours. something. So well, hold on, you're gonna have a chance to answer. Hold on, hold on I have something. Is that, wait, wait, you're gonna have a chance to answer. I'm this. not gonna answer. I'm not gonna answer. No, you, you're gonna have to pick. But I'm not I answering. No, you're gonna answer. Is that all you're gonna? Not, is that all you're gonna do? In no, your I'm not answering hours? right then, now. And what, when the Sixers game is done, which will probably get done around like nine, because at six, maybe spend some time in NY, 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 New York, New York. All and right. get some food maybe after the game. All right, that's a pretty good answer. All right, so Frank, what would you do? Would you trade with mom or dad for 24 hours? First of hours? all, I have something to say. Okay. What if we pick the person, they get, say, like Lincoln picked you, then what would you do as Lincoln? Um, I don't man. get that, but... I would love to be one of you guys. I was picking you, too. For the rest of my life. I know, but what would you do? You, you, you guys wake up and you're like, oh, my clothes are already out. And then you get to eat breakfast and then you go get to hang out with your friends all day. My and then, and then my you get to do it. I you, always see yell, you get yelled at the teacher for nothing. You get to do it all over again. So that's what I would do. All right, so Frank, yeah, which well, one Dad, would you I don't, do? Yo. Good luck in school. All right, you'd be me too. All right, what would you do? 24 hours, what would you do? So, we got harder so, math than you did. It depends. Wait, what did you just say? We have harder math than you did. Get the heck out All of right, here, wait, before, dude. Before you talk, we have this new program called iReady, which I quite like, but they use this wording and stuff, and if you switch into my body, that's what you had to be doing every day. All right, listen, the hold quizzes on. Are five we're, get, questions we're getting wrong, off topic. And if we're you getting get off topic, wrong, but it's, get 90. it's absolutely egregious statement to say that you're in harder math than I was. All right. All right, so what would um, you do, Frank? It depends if... If it's a weekend or weekday, uh, it could be any day you want. Or a weekend, so I wake up. Maybe as, as dad. Yeah, he said me. I wake up. Maybe like go out for breakfast by myself. 
by yourself? I don't know. I, I don't know. You don't, wanna, you, don't wanna be, you don't want to bring your family? I, I, I don't. You want some alone time? I don't know. I, I w- hey, you could do whatever you want. It's your day, I dude. would, but I don't know. Okay, this is a fictional. Um, All right, so you get a breakfast by yourself. Not by myself. I don't. You choose. You choose. And okay. with family. Okay. And then I would like have some me time, like watch some s- s- TV. Man, I'm loving this and day. Like, and like <laughs> and like work out. And then you you want to build a race car in the afternoon too? Maybe, maybe take out maybe like rent one. And um, then we mu- for lunch we can go out to a place that's good that for lunch. And then the next, and then we can plan to <laughs> play a vacation for the next day. All right. And then go right. for dinner. Well, All this right. this was dessert. fun. Hold on, I want to do another question though. We'll do one more question. All right. One more. One more. Okay. Um. Two. All right, how about this? How about this? Oh, my God, that's a great question, but I would never ask you guys, guys that. Ask, ask. Ask, ask, um, ask, 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 no. Do you currently have a crush on anyone? And if so, how would you describe that person? And here's the rule. Here's the rule. Got it. All right, here's the rule. Well, you, if you, ju- don't. you have to if you don't to say I don't have a crush on anybody. But if you do, I want you to give me four descriptive words about the person. Like it could be funny, smart, whatever. So stop kicking, dude. Um, all right, so Franklin, go. Um, they're funny. Oh, wait a minute. So you do have a crush? Yeah. All right. Funny, um, smart. Um, um, they're smart. They're really outgoing. Okay, that's three good ones. Um. There are also um they're um respectful. Okay, hey, that's, that's four. four great ones. Um that was funny four. funny, smart, respectful, and outgoing. I have one. Man, that's I, a, hold on, that's a You never told me you had one. Okay, Frank uh, Lincoln. I currently have one. Okay. Um smart. Uh huh. Kind, helpful. Mine's awesome. And I only have three. That's only three. Only three? Smart, kind, helpful. And Try I to have, think of one more. I have five. Try I, to think of one I more. I know what He's to kind. say, He's, but I don't want to say kind. it's not. You can't just say a word. Nobody knows who it is. It could be pretty. It could be Oh, mine's pretty sloppy. too. Sloppy. So it could be. Six. I have six. Remember, it's just a I word. I rea- uh. I, I don't know. This, those are my traits. Dude, you don't got one more trait. I have six views. Co- I'm so adding smart, co- smart, kind, helpful. That's all. Smart, kind, helpful. Dude, this is your crush. You Dad. can only have three ways to describe this Dad, person. I have like five other ones, but I don't want to say on the podcast. Dad, I Bro, have t- it, this, hold on. Frank, hold on. It's just a word. Remember, no one, no one has any idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but I'm sure if I say it and one of my friends like hears this, well, then, he's, then he's going to say like, oh, I know who that is. Bro, it's a describing word. Wait, your yeah, friends are um, probably not going to watch a wor- it. It's a word. You could, okay, you could well, say. I'm, all right, well, that's, that's the only three, so I'm done. Uh, Lincoln, good. your friends are probably not even going to watch it. And dad, I actually, <laughs> dad, I changed my mind. I actually have six because of kind and pretty. Okay. okay. All right, well, listen. I've I already learned, know what he said. I learned that you guys both have crushes, and I learned that they're both smart. It's a good trait. Okay, I'll spin now. What do you think the quality? Hey, if you asked, if you asked your mom right now, if you said, "Hey, mom, do you have a crush on somebody?" Well, number one, do you think it would be me? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say she'd still love you, but I think she might have like a celebrity crush. Yeah. 
What do you think her traits would be? It's, it's probably one of those idiots on Instagram. It's probably like their it's husband. probably like Justin Timberlake. Do you know who I think she has a crush on? Who? You know that big dupe, the one from the Jersey Shore? Huh? What's his name? I don't know whose name. Huh? He's that one podcast she listens to. What is that guy's the, name? The Rock? No, not The Rock. Because, <laughs> oh, I know. It's that guy. It's, um. It's that podcast. Uh, I, she listens to it, like, all the time. I don't know the name of it. What podcast? She never listens to any podcast. She listens to, like, it's like Sam and someone. It's like. It's Lady um, and the I'm Tramp. A, no, it's tra- uh, um, It's like Tramp and someone else. Yeah, I think it's called Champ. Champ and the Tramp. Yep, there it is. You're right. There you go. What is his name? Let me see the guy. It is Roger. Let me see Roger. Ro- here, okay, here's see, a picture of him. This is why I think your mom's crush is right here. <laughs> How do you know? It's the guy. Why is this picture not clear? It's the guy all the way. I don't know why these pictures are not clear. I don't care. Let me see. Hold on. Well, you can't see the person. It's the guy to the right. The, the guy with the white shirt? Yeah, the guy with the white shirt. He's old. Um, You're, you're more handsome than him. I don't think he's I don't think he's old. Let's he has see great him. hair. What did I say his name was? Roger. You're more handsome than him. Ro- what's his name? Roger what? Oh, he looks as strong. What was his name? Wait a minute. Hold on. Roger, the guy. Hold, on, hold, hold up. That's hold up. Offensive. Hold up. Hold up. You don't think I look strong? Oh, bro, this guy, this. bro, this. Look at this. Well, you, he he you, can't you even fit in his shirt, what? Lincoln. Look at this. <laughs> he can't even fit in his shirt, Lincoln. Bro, I will come across the table right now. <laughs> what is his name? His name is Roger. Roger Wills. Yeah, here we go. He's, oh, he is. He's 48. Oh, he, dang oh, no. Oh, look at this. This is when he was younger. Oh, heck no. Mom's not liking that kid. I think she does. All right, moving on. Let's spin the wheel for the second. I'll spin. There it goes. Oh, okay. What is this? Talking food with Frank. So, Frank. You, we can talk food, absolutely, and we're going away. And you know what the best part about going away is? You get to eat. I don't know what I have to do to you guys to, to get you to stop making noises. I'm sitting I'm not, down. I'm uh, down. Uh, uh, can right, I just so talk? What are we talking? <laughs> so. Move closer to the mic. Hold on. Get all the noise out of the way. Push. Pull your chair in. Pull your chair in. Pull your chair in so you don't have to, like, Okay, there you go. So I have two things to talk about. All right. One is that Lincoln's thing is coming out, Miko Market, and we were originally going to name it Sweet and Sour. I think it's a, I think it's a great bees, name. We're having marshmallows and rice crispy chips and sourdough bread. Yeah, like sour for sweet, for sweets, like rice crispy treats. And Lincoln. And sour for sourdough bread, sweet and, and sour. Lincoln. Did not like the look. Link's sweet and sour. And I, I made this thing. Um, you're, you're fuzzing on the thing. That's the wrong answer. Okay. Yeah, I made, the, I made this thing at work. And I came home and Link was like, I don't like it. I don't. I, I don't. Did the audience hear that? He came home and he was like, I don't like it. <laughs> It echoes. Hey, Lincoln, look at this thing I made you. Isn't it? Isn't it pretty cool? Sweet. I don't, I don't like, it. like it either. I don't <laughs> like it. I I loved it. I thought it was great, dude. I know I like it, but why is that kid like looking up? He's like, listen, it's a blonde-haired boy that's smiling. And I don't have you, blonde hair. The, you, I cut it all off. are you out of your mind? My hair looks like his now. If your hair isn't blonde, what color is it? Brown. What? Oh my god! It looks like you're, you're a blonde you're, boy. That's like saying I look like Ricky Martin. It looks like Franklin's hair, like in the front. Oh my lord! That's saying. All right, Frank. You, let's get into it with the food. What are we right, talking so about? The second, hey, you want me to read the menu at this Slim's place? I was just gonna say that. All right, hold on. Because there's, a, I think there's a lot, of, lot of stuff. Hold on. I mean, it's gotta be uh, eye catching, and it's also gotta be friendly. And wait. 
right, something that I don't think you guys know. Listen we do to hold on. This. We do not have to even turn this in. So we can just like turn it in and All be right. fine. Here is like the appetizers. Philly pretzels. Pod stickers. Pulled pork sliders. Wings. Yep. Oh. Philly tater tots. Um Pierogies, pot stickers. Yeah, we're, we're going there. Lobster macaroni and cheese. This is just Philly and me. All oh, over. dude, the lobster macaroni and cheese has truffle oil on it. Ew, I hate no truffle. No way, bro. That's a that's a that's a. I don't know why that they would do that. Oh, this is a family podcast. Um, let's see. Uh. Nachos. Can you just take the oil off? Like we could. No, wait, wait, cheeseburger. I, barbecue burger. Bacon cheeseburger. Philly cheesesteak. Pizza steak. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Italian here. hoagie. Wait, wait, Sriracha th- pole boy. Dad, we can go here. Oh, a press Cuban. That we can go here every barbecue day. Sandwich, buffalo transfer. We can go here every day, get food, Two and watch Philly. Two hot dogs. Are they big? Tacos. What else? They got wraps. They got, oh, pizza. All kinds of pizza. Sides. Coleslaw. Tater tots. Macaroni and cheese. Potato salad. They don't have any fries? Bro, of course they got fries. Oh. Wait a minute. I think they do. Yeah, well, anyway, this place is like Philly. You know what, Frank? They might not. They have tater tots, though. Tater tots are fries. All right. There's tater tots. Tater tots are just like cylinder shape fries. Yeah, I love tater tots. What you else are we talking about? Right? Um, I don't think it's a dessert place, but I did find a place that does have some of the dessert. So for breakfast, there's like is this about three inches? That's about a half an inch. About this. That's about an inch and a half. Up. So there's an inch of a half thick of pan. Cakes. I'm not getting that. And there's, Where's that at? I really, I really don't know. But mom showed me a picture. Bro, look at this place. This place is also right near us. The donut experiment. <gasps> you can make your own donut. Let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Let's see menu. All right. Let's see what they got. All right. Listen. Donuts. Let's see what donuts they got. All right. Here we go. Maple bacon, vanilla chocolate chips, vanilla rainbow sprinkle, caramel sea salt, caramel Reese's Pieces, what? Chocolate chocolate sprinkles, chocolate candy bar, vanilla Oreo, caramel Reese's Pieces. We got key lime, sriracha, and monthly specials. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are the monthly whoa. specials? I think they just, they, they come up with them. It's like a different thing every month. That I can't believe, even though Anne Marie Islands is beautiful, I can't believe there's people that actually like have businesses and live down here. Bro, I, fe- I have a feeling that I'm going to go down there and say, oh, this is where I want to live. Well, you, no, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm predicting. You're going to go down there and say, wow, this is beautiful. Look at a house and then buy a house down, look, and then like, Forget about Brigantine and then just buy a house down here and then come down here every summer. Um, okay. Why'd you say that, Lincoln? I don't want to leave here. Well, because the manatees and that. Next topic. Well, uh, you spin. Spin it at Franklin. Give it a good spin. I'll spin for her dad. organically all right all right it's on it quote of the day quote of the day all right, let's see quote oh no! okay. it's actually close this actually this actually has to be a quote of the day like it, right. it can't be like two it's one quote of quote. the day um oh here we go Oh, that's a little too. All right, here we go. I'll do this. I'll do this one. I'm going to page. Page two. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. (laughs) 
Many excellent cooks. No, that's horrible. What does that even mean? All right, here we go. There are no lines in nature, only areas of color, one against another. Cool. That's cool. That's good. Good. That's a good quote to say. And right under that is a quote from Chris Rock that says, you don't pay taxes, they take taxes. And that is the quote of the day. Yeah. Link, are you spinning? What would you do? Yes, I'm spinning. Hold on. Make sure your thing is plugged in all the way. It's not plugged in all the way. Here, I'll, do you want me to help you? Sorry, guys. No, you're fine. I've got it. All right, it works now. All right, you got to spin? I'd like to spin. I'll spin. He's spinning, spinning, spinning. What's no. that? This no. or that? No. This or that? This or that. that? That's kind of the question of the day. No, it's not. Dad, look, look what I've had it all. Here's what I'll do. I'll do sports, this or that. Okay, okay. Here, let me just put it back on. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Do sports players this or that? Wait a minute. Yeah. All right, a sports play. Let's do that. Sports players, this or that. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There <laughs> might not be. <laughs> oop, 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 oop. You guys, talk while I'm trying to find this. Um. So today, speaking of sports guys, I learned that because we're learning about water and science, that there's these NFL players that came up with like a thing to get more water for people in like Africa and those places that don't have a lot. And it's really nice and generous. You can donate some. Mm-hmm. And it's like built by a bunch of NBA players. I'm not, mm-hmm. I, I mean, NFL. NFL. And one of them is on the Eagles. Ooh. Defensive guy. I forget right. his name. Wayne Johnson. All right, here we go. It's like long, something like that. Like a not like a long name, just his name right. is long in it. I'll give you a this or that, and I'll also tell you like the the subject behind it, right? So this one is is which one would you rather watch? Okay. All right. NFL or NBA? NBA. NFL for some reason gives me a headache, but I like NBA easily. NBA clears. Franklin's thinking. It depends. Just NFL. Answer it. It depends, though. It's, just it, re- it really it's depends. This or, it's this like or if that. it's the San Antonio Spurs, no, if it's the Washington it Wizards against the Detroit Pistons, then like anybody. the Eagles versus the Chiefs. Nope, it could be the anybody. Like, what mm. if it was the Panthers versus the Bears? I watched football. Okay, so Frank took football. All right, which who would you rather be? Okay. Outside of the arena, not inside the arena, like mm. not the how they play. Who would you rather be outside of the arena, LeBron or Curry? Curry. I'm I'm going to say Curry, too, even though LeBron has a bunch of money. I love LeBron, but Curry, I feel like he just, like, they both have nice families, but I feel like Curry kind of lives more like a, like, they're both really good dads, but I just feel like Curry's just, like, a better dad. Like okay. I, like, I like LeBron, but. Okay. Would you rather watch a game on TV or be at the game? Be at a game. Be at a game. Okay. That's so easy. It depends on the seats, but I'll be at the game. Would you rather have... Except behind the basket for NBA. Would you rather have... Jackson or Mahomes? All right. If we're talking about last season, I want Jackson. But if we're talking about all time, I I want... I'll take Mahomes. Hold on. How old is Jackson? Jackson's like 20. Yeah, he's younger. Six. How Mahomes is like if, 29. If Jackson's younger, I'm taking Jackson. All right. I'll, I'll take Mahomes. And the last one. All right. This is which one would you rather play? Soccer or hockey? I'm going to pl- Soccer. Is there an either? I hate. I don't like playing it. You have either. to pick one. Soccer, soccer, soccer. 
Soccer is so easy. I'm gonna choose soccer because I don't really know how to play hockey. Because soccer, but I, I just, I just buy soccer. Like it, if you would play soccer for like a minute or two, you would get the hang of it. It's, it's like the easiest. All right, next spin. I'm spinning for dad. Nice spin. Nope. Spin it again. Spin it again. It's crazy how we land on the same thing. Trash or oh, smash. That, that was this or that. That, 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 that or was that. really like this or that. All right, spin it again. Yeah. We're going to have to change the topics now if they're the same. Oh, no. Yeah. No, can we spin it again? Because he's already talked about one thing. All right, listen. Spin. Let's talk about That's, one dinosaur. I, can I be... One dinosaur and it's facts, and that's all. All right. How about this? I'll put a spin on it. If you could have any dinosaur as a pet. Three dinosaurs as a pet. All right. What three dinosaurs would you want as a pet? For I'll go first. All right. So I would want a raptor because raptors are kind of just like dogs when they're playful. And then yeah, like a raptor. pit bull, like a pit bull, dad. Yeah, pit like, bulls will bite your face off. Yeah. And, and it can protect me. Second, I want a... I want a T-Rex. You know what's so funny? This is what I picture a T-Rex sounding like when he when he roars. Ready? He goes like this. He goes... <gasps> he actually no. sounds... They actually sound like a bird. I saw this video. They don't you know, like or, Jurassic Park. They're like, they, like they, they, they don't do that. They look up. No, wait, you know what? Your phone's connected. Look up a video, and it will say what a, a T Rex actually sounds like. Yeah, right, not, not, it's on YouTube. Not, it's on YouTube. It's they don't sound like. And, and that. Like, first of all, that didn't sound like anything. I like a T Rex. Like, and. T-Rex. So actually, T-Rex I'm pick, I'm gonna pick four. All right, here we go. This because is one of the real sounds of dinosaurs. Here we go. Let's hear this. That's really T-Rex. That's what it sounds like. It's a Spinosaurus. That that's true. That's true. Um. No, look at the T Rex one. The T Rex really sound like. Here we go. It sounds like a bird. It's a bird. All right, I've seen about three different viral videos using this sound, so let's talk about it real quick. Bro, For- shut up. <laughs> Dad, I'm actually gonna pick oh, four. Oh, here we go. T Rex real sounds. In music, bro, that's crazy. Is that- that's what that's what Lincoln sounds like when he's hungry. <laughs> wah, 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 Wait, wah, Dad, can you wah, actually wah, can wah. you type in what a raptor sounds like, please? I I was reading my what was the age of the dinosaurs, and it had like a little fact page in and said. These were not really as true as the sounds. Oh, right, here we go. And, yeah, the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus. What did a Velociraptor sound like? Here we go. That's what it sounds like? What the? No. This is it. Movies. He's right behind us. That's him. He's biting me. Oh. Oh. They kind of sound like a dog barking. But that's not a dog. They sound like a snake mixed with a dog. bird and a dog. Sound- <laughs> Why are he so scary? Bro, that's freaky. Do you know what I think he sounds like? And that. 
and dad, 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 dad. I actually want to pick four because I have come on, bro, come a brachiosaurus. So a T Rex, a Velociraptor, a brachiosaurus. And Shariceratops. All right, that's good. Um, All right, mine would be an Ankylosaurus or an Ankylosaur. I'm sorry. Yeah. A Triceratops, a Brachiosaurus, and a Stegosaurus. Mine would be a. Um, and a, next a, up, mine would be an Ankylosaurus, whatever you say. Ankylosaurus, okay. Yep. Velociraptor. I'd get a Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yep. And one more. What's that animal, the Apatosaurus? I'd get that, too. Oh, yeah, Apatosaurus. Okay. Uh, and next time, and here's the thing. Next dinosaur thing, we're going to do what it really sounds like. All right, All guys, right, we're I'll, doing two more spins. Two more. And then this episode is over. I'll spin that. Yeah. Here it goes. Right. So we have to pack for the vacation. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Why don't we just end it off like this? All right. Well, hold on. Lincoln has the lucky spin. I might. This is going to be the cringiest time in my life. This is going to be the cringiest five minutes of my life. Why why is it going to be so cringy? I don't understand. Well, it's not going to be five minutes. It's going to be be more. Bro. Why do you think I'm going to be. Why do you think I'm gonna be um corny and cringe? Cor- yeah, like it's, em- it's embarrassing to do that in pot. <sighs> oh, man. I um just rap. Man, I'm hold on, I'm trying to find a beat real quick. And Daddy, you know you can use other people's music, you can just like say like via Drake or something like that. Yeah, see I don't know how to do that though. Like J- just say it. In the description or something. I don't know. Because um, when I make NBA play- videos and I use clips, I just say NBA via NBA via whoever got it. All right, here we go. You got it? <sighs> it shouldn't take you this long to find a beat. All right, I'm going to find a beat. Here we go. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Just click anyone. I'm just going to spit right off the top of my head, all right? All right. All right, here we go. Let Let me get a beat. What was that beat that we used? Uh, All right, I'm going to use that. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. I got to go back to the beginning, right? All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I just skipped. I got this little boy named Frankie who lives in my house every day. No way. Yes, he does. Uh Uh-uh. All he does is eat all my food and has a brother named Lincoln who doesn't like to eat. Uh, yeah. Uh. I do do like to eat. You messed up. Oh, you you coming in as the second verse? Yeah, I do. He doesn't like to eat. I like to eat. You ruined the rap, Lincoln. wrote a rap song. I'm trying to find it on my phone. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I can't find it. I actually wrote rap lyrics. All right. Next spin. All right. We doing one more spin? Yeah. Last spin. This last 
Nope. Nope. You keep I don't getting know on the possible. Am I bad luck? Am I bad is luck? Possible. Keep Am I bad same? luck? There's like 20 things on this thing. How, How is bad luck? luck? How are we getting every single one that we've already done? <laughs> Am I bad luck? Bro, what is going on? Bro. Oh my god. Bro, let me do it. Let me uh, do it. Listen, I'm gonna do, no, I'll I'm gonna spin do it. Dad I'll jokes. spin it explicitly. No, look at I'll, I'll do spin dad it. Jokes. No, 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 dad. It, one, it, three, it, three, two, one. That was a great. Time. Yes. This day in history. All right, That's we'll end the podcast. At least a on. better. All right, we'll end the in this day in history. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. This day in history. All right, let's see. Yes, sir. Wow. Choose the most important one. In 1775, the American Revolution begins at Battle of Lexington. I learned about that in school. Let's see what else. Right. All right, let's see what else. Two more. Boston okay. Tea Party. Uh, in, in 1861... It was the first death in the Civil War. Wow. In 1995, it was the Oklahoma City bombing. Mm -hmm. What was um, that? This one, some crazy guy blew up the Oklahoma City um, thing. 1897, the first Boston Marathon was held. And this guy. All right. Let's get some facts. Um, nice two more, two more, two more. Oh. Okay, two, two more. One more. No, two more. Uh, how about learn this? More. How about this? this, 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 this. How about. No, I don't want to watch your video. No, I don't want to watch your video. There we go. There we go. Um. Oh, here we go. Charles Darwin. Oh, Charles Darwin died. I know. I know who he is. Yeah. Oh, same. Yeah. My friend's birthday's today. Trying to think. Um. <coughs> all right. Last one would be. American actress Mae West was sentenced to ten days in jail, convicted of obscenity. In corrupting the morals of youths with her portrayal of a prostitute in a uh, in a musical, which is crazy. That was in 1927. Now they come out with that stuff on like daytime TV. Wait, what? Yeah, it's over your head a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, any final? Uh, Can we just spin one more? Any final thoughts? No. No one more spin. <gasps> All right, do one more spin. All right. Fit. This is it. This is it. Then we go on vacation. Oh, my God. I did not spin, Lincoln. Oh. Horoscope. Horoscope. <laughs> it's the last thing. Google. Nope. If you keep saying that. All right, here we go. Daily horoscope for today. Franklin. Frankie, yes, Frankie, sir. Frankie. Frankie, you are a Pisces. Yes. Okay. This probably isn't a good day to do work that concerns money. Your mind may not be in the right space. You could make errors that cause problems, if possible. Also, avoid working on any kind of creative project since your mind might not be clear and you probably won't be happy with the results. However, there is a great day for routine work that doesn't require much concentration. That is exactly like me. Okay. I like how the Pisces is exactly Virgo. Like me. Let's see where we're at today, Link. Boo. The atmosphere around you could seem somewhat unreal today. If you get a weird vibe from somebody, take everything this person says with a grain of salt. He or she has an agenda and isn't above distorting the truth to achieve it. If what they say doesn't affect you, don't worry about it. If it does, take pain to learn the facts before acting on it. 
you'll be glad you did. That actually makes a lot of sense today, but I'm not going to do any names. <sighs> All right, nice, nice sound on the podcast. All right. Anything you want to add no. um, about vacation? Nope. I'm just excited. Oh, we're just going to, we might swim with mantis and stuff. <laughs> So, we'll, I'm gonna, we're going to tell you all about it, okay? All right. All right. I don't know, man. Like, Music. Um, all right. Do that beat that was like fire. Fire beat? Yes, sir. All right. Let me let's start out again. Metro. End of the Richest Podcast. I'm Lincoln. I'm Franklin Wyckoff. And Dad, who are you? Dad. 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 Dad raps. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? No matter what I do, I always see it through. That's the difference between me and you. All for my goals. I'm sticking like glue. Stuck sitting high and above with a view. Could oh. you ever walk a day in my nah. shoe? Don't think so. Frankie, Frankie, jump on the mic. No. Come on, dude. <laughs> this is cringeworthy enough. All right, we're out. DJ Cringe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Today. Today. See y'all guys.